Hello, good morning to everyone. I hope you all are fine and doing well. Last time I told you in our body there are different types of tissues categorized as epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue and nervous tissue. Epithelial tissue this is of two types that is simple epithelium and compound epithelium. On the basis of shape of the epithelial cells, simple epithelium divided into squamous, cuboidal, columnar, ciliated and one of specialized that is glandular epithelium. Glandular epithelium, these are present in glands of the body, may be exocrine gland, may be endocrine gland and its main function it is giving out secretion. Glands on the basis of site of secretion, type of secretion, there are three types that is exocrine gland, endocrine gland and heterocrine gland. If the gland this is provided with duct and their secretion is always other than hormone, that gland is called exocrine gland. These gland, they pour their secretion on the surface. For example, salivary gland, tear gland, sweat gland, oil gland, gastric gland, intestinal glands, etc. If the gland it is provided with without duct, means if the gland this is ductless, and their secretion is hormone that glands called an endocrine gland. Endocrine gland always secretes hormone and they pour its hormone directly into the blood that carries them to the target organs. Pituitary gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, adrenal gland, pineal gland even though ovary and testis also regarded as endocrine gland. Pancreas taken as a heterocrine gland because it function it performs the function of exocrine as well as endocrine gland pancreatic juice which is given by the pancreas it helps in digestion of the food as well it secretes the hormones like insulin and glucagon which helps in maintaining or balancing of blood sugar level based on the number of cell or involvement of cell glands again of two types that is unicellular gland and multicellular gland Unicellular gland made up of only one cell, for example, mucus cell which secretes mucus and serous cell which secretes serous. Mucus secreting unicellular gland, this is the goblet cell which is found in alimentary canal as well as in respiratory tract. Number of exocrine and endocrine gland in our body made up of number of cells. So if the gland made up of number of cells, these glands are called multicellular gland. Multicellular gland, any example you can give, salivary gland, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, etc. Based on the secretion, the glands again divided into three types that is merocrine gland, apocrine gland and holocrine gland. Merocrine gland, the secretion, secretion, merocrine glands, its secretion leaves the cell through the cell membrane and the cell content remains intact. For example, sweat gland. In apocrine gland, the secretion accumulates as secreted granules in the distal part of the cell. This part later breaks down and leaves as secretion. The best example of apocrine gland, mammary gland and goblet cells. Holocrine glands here, the whole cell filled with secretion and later breaks down and shed. The sebaceous gland, this is best example of holocrine gland. So here, merocrine, apocrine, holocrine gland, like this. If you we'll go for stratified or compound epithelium, so here we know that the epithelial cells, they are arranged in more than one layer, that is three to four layers. The first layer of the cell present on the basement membrane called germinal epithelium, because germinal epithelium only having the ability for cell division, it produces new cells, it keeps these new cells with this layer only and the old cells right they are going to upper layers. As we go from bottom to the free surface we will find the cells become older and flattened. The layer of the cells which is facing the free surface it are, they are more flattened and oldest cells. A stratified or compound epithelium present at the right surface of the skin moist surface of buccal cavity, pharynx, inner lining of duct of salivary gland and 